I can't guarantee that it will always happen, but I do have the ability. That was a good one. I gotta say, it was a good one. <laughs> you have a little bit of uh, Lois Griffin and Fran Drescher in you. Wonderful. It's, I guess that's kind of why I married you, because they're both they're both pretty hot. You gotta say they are both pretty hot. Um, I and uh, now I am live. I'm all alone right now. Uh, yeah. I think so. I'll shake my hand in front of the screen. I have one, well, I have one visitor now. I think it's live. <laughs> there it is. Wow, man, the delay is hell long. Alright, that's cool then. Get this right. Who's talking? Then it's just in the wrong. Oh, yeah. That was a good. That was a good interview, Zach. I'm sure you guys. Uh, the two of you that are here, I don't know if you guys listened to the interview with Zach today. Uh, that was pretty good. I listened to it while I was machining some brass. Okay. Time to build a kit. Oh man. Is it working this time? I think it's working, Andy. Is it working this time? Are 
safe. That's for sure. I don't. Oh shit. No inception. Get out of there. Look, I mean, yeah. um. oh, it's dropping frames. Stop dropping frames. We're back on course. There's a little bit of a delay, so I'm just gonna have to hang in there. Um, another Iron Blood Organs 100 grade kit. Uh, let's see. The last one went together really fast. Let's see how fast this one can go together. Of course, it was half the whoa, half the runners. I know what you are. Got you. I know where you are. I know where you are. I know it's up in here. Up in here. That's my wife's though. Uh, how is that? That looks pretty good. I think the color looks all right on that. Is the angle okay? I think the camera's tilted a little bit back towards me, so I hope that's uh, not too bizarre. Let me know in the chat if you guys think that is disoriented. Back on that dual Ahab reactor action. Whoa, whoa. Absolutely not. This is this one. Man, you can't take me anywhere. Oh. Uh, yes. Right. <laughs> Holy shit. Step one drop the ball. Apparently, I can't count either. I just got home a couple minutes ago. Oh yeah, packing them. Goodness. Putting together, and then Andy's putting together uh, the Oregon, Origin gun cannon. Um, I thought you should be working on the Barbatos, or you would be working on the Barbatos. I'm not here to tell you that you should be, or should not be doing anything. Ain't the boss of nobody. Yeah. 
Back to that standard ribbed piping. That's all right. See if I can't remedy that. Dude, I understand getting sick of a kit that you've been working on for a long time, especially if you're really like putting a lot into it. It um, becomes a little bit consuming for a while. You get incredibly excited to do a ton of work, and then you hit this area where you're just like, oh, I need a break. This happened to me on just about every one of my like my bigger builds from the middle of last year on. Like, uh, let's see, the Garrett Dogfighter. Yeah, starting with that one. I think that I... Yeah, I built the Gira, and then I built a couple of other kits in the middle of building that one. And then when I did the Kshatra Corn, I built a couple other kits in the middle of doing that one. Um, just to, like, break up that monotony. I'm looking around because my, uh, my kits are all around. I'm trying to remember what's what. And who's who. I'm not too bad for being on the, uh, on the camera. I'm gonna have a party or something. Neck face. The old neck face in there. Oh, it is these two. You're not, you're fine. I don't know why you're being weird. Mm -hmm. You're being so weird. <laughs> nobody, nobody can see you at all. Oh, they just see my reaction to you being so weird. Okay, just say it. Go ahead. There you go. You want to be invisible. Well, I... I'm sorry to inform you that you married me, and that makes you, uh, painfully hyper-visible. You can try. You can try. <laughs> You're gonna... Godspeed, young lady. I wish you the best in all of the world. Cause you ain't got no luck. <laughs> That's what you call true love. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is an improvement or if this is just, just the way it is. So I built the Barbatos and I built the Vidar and I built the Kamari Trooper, but they don't think they had angled pistons like this. Huh. Oh, I like it. Oh, I've been looking at the chat. Oh, holy cow, the chat's big. <laughs> yes, gotta have those palate cleansers. Snap therapy. Oh, woo. Nice. Oh, that's cool. The backpacks and the weapons. Did you guys listen to, um, did you listen to Zach's interview today? I know he was just talking about it on his channel. Um, 
I bet Paul, I bet you did with all your traveling and everything. But, um, uh, yeah, it's the next builder's interview, like he did. Um, oh crap, and I forgot his name's failing me. There's a button right there. Uh, shit. Well, the first interview with the guy that did SMO3, uh, single model. Um, <laughs> I'm kicking myself. Anyway, um, he. Uh, had a great interview today. You should check it out. They were talking about some uh, some stuff in regards to uh, how to start a kit and, and finish a kit in regards to painting uh, that I thought were some interesting ideas. Uh, sorry, I got a little bit lost there. Distracting myself with myself. His name is going to come to me later in the, in the stream and I'm just going to blurt it out and you guys think I'll have name threats. Maybe I actually do have name Tourette's, I don't know. Is that a thing, that name Tourette's? Name sure. I like that. Excellent. That's why I'm married. She, she agrees with my idiotic idiocies. Oh, the tiniest of pieces. Oh, sweet. Yeah, hardwood way better than carpet. I don't know how you guys do it. It's beyond me. If I ever get, um, if I ever move into a place that has carpet, I'm just going to get, um, like a section of flooring. And I'm gonna like make it into like a a rug that's hardwood. That uh, there you go, beauty. Oh, that's kind of an interesting start. I like that. I'm more like a hero. It's like a ten thousand crunches, Mika. Uh, way more than you. Um, what the hell is I talking about? <laughs> I'm so all over the place tonight. I apologize. Um. I'm sure I was talking some shit of some other things before, anyway. I'm just gonna keep building, and pretend that I didn't say anything. If you want to remind me what I was talking about, go ahead. Hey, hey, tell me out, what's up? Michael Rinaldi. Thank you, Andy. Get that Nub Blaster 5000. What a cool little score, right? I like that the filter is just a little bit of, um... Like a little bit of filter cloth in there so that you can take it out and wash it. Absolutely reusable. Super green. Super green. No batteries. Oh yeah. I want to dance. Alright. One, two. Oh cool. Yeah, the, the interview with Eric Priogo was pretty cool today. Guy's got some incredible photo skills and incredible modeling skills. I liked his uh, FM uh, first model or first edition. Those kits look really, really nice. And you gotta appreciate that. I would actually like, I have an old, um, I think I have an old GOG, something like that. Something like that? Yeah. Can't remember. From 1983. It's forever ago. And it's two two runners, so it's it's not like much of a, a kit to assemble. Uh, and I think that it'd be kind of cool if I just painted it up really cool and and then like put it into a frame. Uh, like a shadow box frame with like the, the box, because I have the original box is in great condition. And the instructions, which I think actually may be on the inside of the box. So we'll just leave those as is. Maybe I'll like photograph it or something. And get it printed. I don't know. I'll think about it. But um, that could be cool. <laughs> you have to like, Paul. You have to like plug the plug the bottom of the vacuum. 
when you take it out, so you're like all, you're all like nubbed up, it's all full. You gotta like palm it when you take the the capsule off, and then you can dump the cup. That's what I figured out. Not saying that I spilled any. I did that all as a single shot, pretty much, except for the unboxing. So I was looking at the uh, Ahab reactor in the Grimgird when I put it together yesterday. Um, I don't think... Oh yeah, there's a teeny little... There's a teeny little one here in the Rhine car. Sort of, if you want to talk. I think that that's it. Um, oh, now it doesn't want to stand up. It's weird feet. Um, but they look really slender. Like... So I'm going to be taking one of these and, and going someplace with it for the GBWC thing. And I kind of want to, I don't want to have to, maybe I have to, Andy, you, oh, you're building a resin upgrade for uh, the Barbatos. Did, uh, was there any frame uh, or like extensions for the the legs or um, torso or any of the other things like that that went along with it or was it just like uh, mainly an armor um, upgrade? I haven't been paying attention that closely. Sorry. Hmm. Should have been more careful. Okay. Oh boy, the old ABS piping. I'll probably replace all this piping with different stuff. Maybe go the Mike Rinaldi route. I'm just gonna say his name like a hundred times uh, in a row, at least in my head. You guys don't need to hear that. Uh, get that engraving in there. Got the uh, Vader koozie going on. The earlier one uh, was the R2D2 koozie. Beetlejuice effect. Now I'm confused. I don't remember what I was. Got me.
Oh, it's in my. Oh, right. Beetlejuice. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was thinking. I would think that more like Bloody Mary or something like that. But that's the same thing. So yeah, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Right, right, right. No, I'm just thinking like like muscle memory. Because <clears throat> your brain is like a muscle, you must exercise it daily. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Your gumpla is like a muscle. You must exercise your gumpla daily. Wow. Alright. Tiny parts, big hands. Equals Oma. Just Can you imagine how inconvenient that would be if that like that the we'll say like the, the Beetlejuice trick work. You just like say someone's name three times. And just like teleport them somewhere that would be disturbing There's a shoulder I assume yes great this fell off earlier It's insane. Something about late night snack. Gotta break that down. I know this was his cup anyway. But a little bit neurotic. Then we're right back into it. So you guys are gonna just chill. There we go. So I went through last night and I skinned the runners that needed to be used. Uh, the Gusian rebake is obviously two kits. Or, you know, two loadouts for the same inner frame, uh, which is pretty cool for a gimmick, um, but uh, it results in a lot of extra runners. So I went through last night and I pulled the ones that I think are the ones used in this build, so I don't have to fishy fishy too much. And wait, oh, that's that one. Um, ooh, that's a pretty color. 
I painted the fancy neon eyes on my other kids, and this one comes with fancy neon eyes, and I like it. They are bright and shiny, but welcome reality. Beautiful color of orange. Yeah, this kid is just the just the, the coloring of it. Even after you know, if I do decide to do this one, you know, even after all the loadout, all the build out, all the mod, all the everything, it's still gonna be just a pleasure to paint because I really like the colors. Uh, so I like that. Oh, yo ho. Just an alignment issue. Easy tiger. <laughs> oh my god. Now that would make Rebel Night very convenient. <laughs> interesting, interesting. It's a different twist, Mr. Rusty. So you recently followed my Twitch page. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. I'll make a lot of stuff and hopefully uh, learn a couple things and share a couple things. Ooh. Also, to say, Ooh, a lot. Oh, yeah, here it is. That's pretty sweet. A little gap for the armor there. Didn't even have to paint those eyes. I don't even know if it's going to focus because uh, I want to delay. So let's cross our fingers. Does it focus? I'm watching it. Ah, uh, it didn't focus at once. Son of a gun. Test his computer again! Alright, I'll get a better, get a better camera soon. That's it for the head. Wow, that's simple. Miss the hole. <laughs> Oh, man. 
Look, I made some shoulders. Golly. Uh, Uh, this will be my third IBO kit in three days. How's that for crazy fans? Maybe I'm both. Maybe I'm both, Andy. Both insane and have good taste. I'm sure that there are some medical circles that classify me as mis mis as mis insane. As insane. As insane. You'll have that. My music selection got all sorts of uh, introspective and deep sounding. Truth be told, the Grim Druid was an incredibly easy kit to assemble. It was six runners, maybe? Two, three, seven, something like that. Thank you for adding the S. Fantastic design. I like the Neva. Wow, this music is gonna put me to sleepy time. I can speak up. So I had a video that was blocked on YouTube the other day. It was lovely. From a long time ago. I think I talked about this last time, I'll talk about it again. Uh, some random background music that I was playing on YouTube got found out and they blocked me. Well, they blocked myself, or my, my video from being played in everywhere, but like the, like the, like, like Thailand and Philippines and Japan and China and all these places can watch my video, but like America can't. And uh, I just thought it was weird. Anyways. 
So it's still out there. Thank you, brother. Right there. There's on the TV, there's pictures of people uh, kissing with the umbrella. I mean, granted, it's like a painting or something. But therein lies the problem. That's good. It's gonna be an ad. It's always an ad. Oh, I know. Which is great about Twitch. This is why I like Twitch. So I'm just getting started. Cool, because I'm not trying to use things for purposes. I'm just, I listen to music when I work. You guys know you do the same thing. Um, Should have known better. Hey, let me do that a little bit. The old nub right next to the panel line. I had those on the Grimgird. I had to do some fancy sanding. The end of my game. Nothing a crispy sanding stick can't get rid of. That's out of control, Rusty. That is out of control. <sighs> I guess they just want people doing uh, edited content and... Which doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 
I will say, as similar as a lot of these Iron-Blooded Orphans uh, full mechanics kits are in design, they are still subtly different. There are little aspects to each one within their inner frames, uh, which, you know, kind of separate them, and it, that, I think, is a cool thing that they did. I'm, I'm uh, pretty stoked. I have a, uh, a Mechanical Works book coming in the mail. Um, which is always fun to have a little bit of groundwork, a little bit of fanboying increasing. Um, I think that's it. God, it's simple. It's as simple as it gets. Should like speed build competitions for these IVO kits. I mean, I'm not going too fast, but. Grimgird, what I built the entire inner frame and feet in an hour and a half with, you know, muckery or, you know, just being, being myself. Look at those hands. Interesting. That is going to be a challenge. Sorry, this is just the R and D sort of phase. Just figuring out what I like, what I don't like. Chappy look right now. Reverse Chappy. Uh, oh, I didn't put those guys in. Holders. I'll be right back. Cred. I found it. I know you're all very, very worried. File off the bits I need. That's wide, 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 wide. It's too narrow. I know it's never seen, but dang it. Right. Alright, leave it in the back. Where's that? Right? Right. I don't know if I talked about this one before with any uh, y'all on the stream, if you've been in any of my old streams, but if you've got these files, you are going to want to get a brush that goes with it. This one's Nicholson, you can't really see it because it's all, well you kind of can, um, but you use this bad boy. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, just dust it all over. Oh wait, vacuum time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh no, what a horrible mess has been made. Whatever shall it do? for nubs and dust. Nub. Dust. Oh man. If you weren't OCD before, you'll be OCD very, very soon. that was, but I hope it wasn't important. It was a pair of zippers. It was. I worry about them. They are just fine. Tell you what, not a good thing. I'm into that Nub Blaster 5000 infomercial, Mr. Gumple Paul. I like that. We'll get the monkeys with the typewriters writing that script up. Post haste. Yeah, I think that there's a reason for that, Andy, the, uh, the gun cannon head looking like a, a sports helmet or like a, like a football helmet, kind of. Alright, well, that's the arms. Hey, this one didn't make you want, you want to uh, try to get me to build the waist last. Thanks. Can get wasted. That's terrible. Who wrote that? Hmm. I also like how all of these full mechanics kits come with their own uh, action base. Um, their own action base connection part. I mean, this guy right here. Will I get it to focus? I have to go really close to get it to focus. Boom. Wow, super focus. Super focus kicked my ass. Anyway. Um, yeah, they have these cool little things that are specifically designed to work with the frames and or the body structure to balance them on. Uh, on. I didn't think about that. The Barbatos didn't come with one. The Barbatos was like, yo, just use a yoke, man. Just do it. And At least, unless I threw it away. It was like my third kit I assembled, so that's a possibility. Uh, the Grimgird came with one, comes directly behind it. Obviously the Kimaris Trooper came with its own action base, so I didn't need to assimilate it into another one, like the Borg. Um,
tails. That are <laughs> never gonna be seen. I suppose it depends on your, you know, what you want to do with the kit. So. One man's trash is another man's treasure. And as a great man once said, never rub another man's rock. I'm just trying to figure out my own assemblies here, you know. Oh, yeah, that's how it goes. And I put it on. Let's just be stylistic. I can't see it being an issue. For real sees. Let's have a little bit of a sound movement. Huh. Got those sick crunches. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's definitely a different orientation than most. But that's okay. I am just gonna, I'm just pillaging with the art. This is wonderful. It's one thing that's very satisfying about these kits. You just like, there goes those part. Oh, there's some more. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, that runner's done. Bing! The little thing, the little endorphin uh, trigger it goes off in your brain, or the dopamine is released for success. Kind of do something about these feet. It's weird little fucking part of my French. Something about them, you know. The Ryan car has weird feet. It's gonna be 
a beautiful 70 plus degrees tomorrow in Brooklyn. Uh, it's a little chilly tonight, not gonna lie. But a lot of times this is an old house, you know, the radiators come on, those radiators are on. And then it is on, fool. So it's like crack the windows, the little winter. Just so I don't sweat out while I'm trying to sleep. Just put myself into a coma. I don't think that happens actually. It's like drinking yourself sober, it doesn't happen. Hell it, dude! That's a good soul. How would we do the Dub Blaster 5000 infomercial? I think we'd have to do it like where we interact with each other, but since you're in Florida and I'm in Brooklyn, that we do it with green screen. And then we just have to like edit it all down with like a fake lab. And uh, we can use like ridiculous stock footage from like old Godzilla films or something. I don't know. Be interesting to think about. I like this idea. Where's my microphone? This one's. It's gotta be cheesy, obviously. It's a commercial. It's a film commercial. Seem be gone. We can our infomercial can have commercials. Like a seam be gone, like an aerosol, like a vapor rise from that movie Envy, where you just like spray it on the parts and then the seams disappear. That'd be cool. We can have it in different things. It can be like seam be gone light. Or like for the for the modeler on the go, and it'll be like a little from your pocket. It can be like CMB Gun Standard, which is like aerosol can. You can have like CMB Gun Pro, which is like um, something and like CMB Gun Mega, which is like a flamethrower. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. I could make a flamethrower. <laughs> probably shouldn't though. They'd probably have trouble with that here in the city. Will they have trouble with that down in Florida? That weird little horseshoe shaped bastard. These things kind of are a little bit of a troublesome thing. If you guys have built this before, you can probably relate. If you haven't built this before, I'm gonna let you know about it right now. They don't seem like they would be they fit kind of like watch, they'll fit they'll fit perfectly. Just to prove me wrong. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. Oh. It was mildly demoralizing. Yeah, I guess that's yeah, what a year's worth of uh, building will do for you. Oh, forgive me. 
for I have misspoke. How do you guys feel about the uh, the high healedness? Making words up. Uh, of the Iron Blood Dwarfins kids. Like, oh man. The Grey's Ritter, um, Carta issue, that, blah, 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 blah. The things all heal is ridiculous to me. I think it's ridiculous. Uh, the Barbatos isn't terrible, the Lupus, I should say, because I've, I've only built the Lupus. Uh, 100. Um, you can't say anything about the Kamari. The Vidar, I didn't really like the Vidar anyway. I don't know why. I had so much, like, high hopes for it. And then, uh, I just, after I, I waited a very, very long time to put it together, and then I snapped it up, I was like, oh, this is gonna be cool. And I built it, and I was like, it felt cluttered and claustrophobic. Like, it definitely needs, like, an expansion. It needs to, like like breathe like open up a little bit because that thing is just like all on top of itself and it's like a it's bad science experiment what do you guys think oh my here we go has this ever happened to you cut to black white footage of model <laughs> <laughs> very nice, Andy. Very nice. Sorry, I skipped. I stepped away from the chat for a second. Uh, before the oh, the more flat footed Barbatos one two five, and the ground type grace. Yes, the ground type grace is good. I agree, and so is the man Rody. Man Rody is cool as well. Uh, sorry, land man Rody. So Paul says sometimes it looks okay, and sometimes he's not a fan. Feet in general, all IBO designs are kind of strange. Yes. Yes, they are. Uh, which one was okay? The Roe wasn't terrible. It had kind of big feet for its um, for the size of the kit or for the you know overall proportions or the, of the model. The uh, the feet were a little bit big, but that I mean that's just such a fun I, dudes. I've been looking all over for, so I've ordered the kits that I need, and they're on the way, which hopefully happens. Uh, you never know, sometimes you order stuff from Amazon through Japan, and it just doesn't come, doesn't show up. You wait an extra month, and they're like, hey, here's your money back. Thanks. Anyway, um, it's really hard to find Iron Blooded Orphans kits right now. I'm having a hard time. Uh, I even had a friend who lives out in the Midwest today come to me and say, hey, bro, uh, is there anything local by you? Because I can't find anything online, and uh, lo and behold, no. I searched the uh, my my major ones. Now I didn't go down to call down to the dudes at Elizabeth Center. Um, I suppose I probably could have. They're really nice. Um, Paul can attest to this. But um, yeah, nothing was nothing was to be found in like. Uh, Gundam Planet, USA Gundam, Image Anime, or Ryu Young Hobby Shop. And those were like my major go-tos. Um, I didn't check out Midtown. Um, but yeah, I checked Image. Image didn't even have anything. Um, they're like basically right there, so. Uh, and Image has, in a way, they have like a little bit more of a broad selection. But, yeah, so I can't find some of these kits. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know if there's just like a bunch of, uh, new IBO fans. Because, uh, oh, that's not a bad one. Because Gundam Info is, uh, released the dub of the second season, and it's, like, bringing more people in. Or what? Yeah, those aren't too bad. That foot. See if I can get that to you. Oh, I can't see. Because I'm on the other screen. Yeah. It's not too bad, right? I kind of like that one. Akihiro wins again. Mississippi time. 
I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna step away for one second. Uh, but I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I don't have any uh, don't have any of those old Mike Myers jokes, but. Hmm, I'm back now. I have to say, hey. uh, Mr. Andy says, What do we think about the competition in the cannon fodder build off? Uh, I think of it, it is, uh, it is a good showing by a great, uh, sl a good selection of the community. I know that there's a lot of people out there that are building that aren't showing their work uh, for no reason. That's what I have to say about that. There's no reason that anyone shouldn't be showing off their work. Uh, you should never be ashamed about what you're doing because you love it and that's what it's about. It's about enjoying what we do and not like, you know, being the best or whatever. Um, I think there's some really, really cool kits. There's a lot of really, really quality paint jobs um, and uh, some customizations that look pretty cool. I don't think there was, Trying to think back to like the extreme customs, but I don't know like, like I don't know all the, the what would classify a kit as being like customized so much or not. But um, all the paints and all the builds looked really really good. There wasn't anything that was like, um, you know, that was like you know, scoffable or anything like that. It was just like there's some things where it was just like, wow, like outrageous. And uh, I think that was pretty cool to see people's real creativity and like where they just kind of like where they want to take, you know, whatever. Cause that's what it is. Like do whatever you want, you know, like I've made these crazy wings and like all this stuff, like all this extra, you know, uh, additional customization, like not kit bash, but customization. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Anyways, I, I feel, feel cool. Oh, uh, of course, Paul's been busy. He's been vacation. Oh, I want to say tonight I'm drinking a Bronx Brewery No Resolutions IPAs from the Bronx. Gotta represent New York. And we have switched back to the uh, R2 can Oh, y'all be on pleasure. Yeah. 
What did you think of the build-off competition, Andy? I guess I just assumed that's what you meant, Andy. Is that what you meant? What I was talking about? Or were you talking... I guess, now that I had a, a second of recollection. Or a reflection? Reflection. Yeah. Second of reflection. Yeah, the fleshy Zaka. That's exactly what I was thinking of when I thought of, like, the, the real crazy, like, off-the-wall uh, creative stuff. The real fleshy Zaku. That was interesting, to say the least. I can't wait to see people do more things with, um, like, putty sculpting and, um, you know, more of that. I'm going to need to slow down before I get too snappy. Don't get too snappy. This I need. Okay, this I need. What the heck, Dan? Oh, oh. Sick. I need that. Ooh. I'm sure you guys have done that. Start snapping stuff out and you're like, I need this one. <gasps> Do I need that? What piece was that? Do I just build the one leg and then build the nap? So Initially set everything out over here and then I F it all up. This is the entrance over here. It's too square here. All the things. Okay.
phone is kind of blowing up a little bit, so we gotta take a look and see what's going on. In the world. Excellent. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So good. I'm so glad that he got it. Excellent. I'll turn that information over to my very close friend soon, because that is awesome. Just got some good holistic information for a friend that is very ill. And I'm excited. I sound crazy, but what do you got to lose, man? Gotcha. I think that's all the bits. Yeah, let's let them that reverse the hands. The shooting hands. Oh, the shooting hands. Akihiro's shooting hands. Man, I love this kid. I don't know what it is. Something about it. Since the beginning, when I first laid eyes on the, the mobile suit, I was like, <laughs> My dudes, and then this. This was like, what? 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 <laughs> when I pulled this axe head out of <laughs> out of the box, I was just like. That's it. I'm. I'm still just like that. That is. That is. That is so huge. I love it. I love it. Here, get that hero action. Oh, I see. Updates. Twitch updates. Oh good. Oh good. I ordered a bunch of styrene today. Oh man. I kind of started going a little bit crazy, but sort of not. I gotta be like. Gotta like calm down and not get too excited about the build because I'll get burnt out. So, take it easy. After I get all the base kits built and I figure out exactly what direction I want to head, I'm gonna do some groundwork and lay out some ideas. Let's see which which one I want to swing towards. So I have two. Uh, two prevailing ideas. One is old and it's been kicking around my head for a while. And one is very new and I discovered when I was out with my friend Gumpa Paul in the city last week. He stopped up for a visit and just left today actually. And I had this idea. That is a hefty axe. It is, and I love that about the Iron Blooded Orphan series that they use, you know, the ammunition is expensive. And they even make some comment to it um, several times within the series like, geez, these guys must be rich. They're just firing off bolts like it doesn't matter. I don't know if any of you have played the Armored Core series. I have played uh, a fair amount of the beginning of the series. Back in the day and ammunition costs money and if you want to make 
enough money to be able to buy the parts you need or to repair your kit, you need to cut down on how much you're blowing on ammunition and how much you're getting hit. So you get good at dodging really, really quickly, and you learn how to load out your uh, your uh, your AC, your armored core, or your mecha, uh, how to not blow ammo. I use uh, almost entirely energy weapons, if I can, and just get really good at shooting. Or coming in close and slicing with that laser blade. Uh, the the uh, the block the uh, this is just foam core that I uh, did some spray adhesive and put 600 grit on. So these uh, it's just like some foam core strips. I make these uh, around this, the house. Um, we'll just buy I buy sheets of the 600 grit paper from the local hardware store, and then spray the foam core, which is cheap as heck, and I get uh, a lot of pieces for very little money. And they, like, keep going, like, you, you get down to this, like, really late in, this is, like, from doing, um, the Grim Gird, and from doing the, um, shoot, the Bull Monster, the Ren Car, uh, and from doing, what else did I build? The Marasai with these, and I think that was the last, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I built a lot. A lot of these. I keep saying that I'm going to cut back and I keep building a lot of kids. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to build another building. Another kid. But yeah, sorry, that's the. Uh... Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, Andy, good to hear that, that our report was your first Mecha Love. And I'm glad to hear, Mr. Cannonball Kerbo, that you also are an Armored Core fan. It is a great thing. They're going to come out with a new game soon, and I'm excited for it, as well as Eighth Combat. I also love me some case combat. I'll buy those points soon. Nice. I like what Shrek's name is going on its own. I commend it. So many different poses you can do with these feet. Okay. Yeah, I fucked up anyway. <laughs> I do what I'm thinking about doing. All this stuff is gonna be super messed up anyway. Right. Too big. Got some legs, and we know how to use them. That's really bad, I apologize. Did not mean any undue harm. My weirdness. 
grew up watching television. Okay, no. This music is taking me back a little bit. It's giving me some 890s vibes. Early 2000s, maybe. Oh, of course. I understand now. It all becomes clear to me at this moment in time. Oh, thanks, Cannibal. Appreciate it. <laughs> I understand. I often have to restrain myself from just insta-buying cool things. Nostalgia things. Modern things. The end of my long, long jaunt around the city last... Friday, where I bought many wonderful things, I happened upon a store that had, like, some excellent paint supply and a lot of weird board game and, uh, like, Warhammer, and I was, I had to leave. <laughs> I literally, like, said, I was just, like, had a moment where I, like, I was like, I, I, have, to, I have to leave. I walked out of the store. Uh, because I, who knows what would happen. Bad, good things. Good bad things. Hmm, interesting name design. Nice, I like the bad design. Hmm. Actually, I do like that quite a bit. Interesting thing. Wow, this has been fast as well. That is it for the inner frame. Uh oh, little kitty. Leave me. All right, see ya. All right, you bake your frame seats. Okay. Cool. To your standard IBO style. Get the front pistons that these are designed a little bit differently than both the um actually than all three, the Kamari Trooper, the Vidar, and um the Fibertus Lupus, the full mechanics kits. Like these uh, pistons are are nicer, I must say. Uh it has a different knee joint than any of those other three kits, which all have very similar joints. I think the Vidar is slightly different, but the Barbatos and the uh, Kimari Trooper have the same, almost the exact same inner frame. Uh, just slightly different is the head and obviously the coloration, but you know, whatever. Color is color. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's pretty standard. It has the same weird ankle things that just want to fall off. So that's just what they do. Um, um, and the, the piping and everything, which it's, it is what it is. Uh, cool. So that's a good start, I would say. Let's 
start laying some of this bulk armor on. I have been looking at some of the differences between the uh, Goosean Rebake and the Rebake Full City. And there are some differences in the armor. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see what you can do. Uh, it's a plus one. First thing we do is I don't know what it is, but this is actually looking up incredible. Mm -hmm. I haven't really needed to do anything to uh, really to clean up much of her, of her pieces. And I think that's awesome. Oh no. This happened last stream. He was trying to do this crazy music. Yeah, the mole. Right. Oh, this is called Band of the Hawk. This next. I wonder if it is berserk related. I don't know. Okay. Definitely a little bit different. I do really, really like this tan color for whatever reason, or this khaki, uh, khaki plastic color. I don't know why. Is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta go with it. Oh, we're looking fly now. Goosey on. So I did do a little bit of reading up on Goosey in, in the weird, like, demonic lore section of Wikipedia. But I can't remember anything that I read. Um, it did give me, uh, it did remind me a bit of, like, the ideals and the, uh, because not all demons are bad, um, 
but the ideals and the, the characteristics that they wrote into Akihiro's character uh, and why that he, you know, piloted Gusion. Um, I think that's cool. It's like, hey, I'll dig it. So like add stickers and to which we say never stickers <sighs> how does that work that doesn't even make any sense oh okay really just like all right unless just sandwiched like that that's what it says it does then it's that's what it does. I don't know, man. I haven't designed the kids yet. Give me time, give me time, give me time, give me time. That's what holds it in place. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I do like the like I said before, I'll say it again. I'm probably gonna say it like a thousand times before this whole build is over. The neon green, as opposed to a clear part with a sticker. Oh man, I just, I'm just loving it. I can't get over it. I don't want to get over it. I just like it. My equipment's on back. Now. Still, even that, like, wow. Cube's X, but wow. Man, they listened to when everyone cried about the stickers on this kid. They're like, you giant man. Put this tiny piece of plastic in this tiny little place. With giant hands. Good luck! <laughs> That's what it is. They're just poking fun. I knew it. I knew it all along. Alright. Oh, hey. Cheers, cheers. All right. Good night, Paul. Good night, Andy. Thank you guys for swinging through and hanging out. Like I said before, thank you, Cannonball, for coming through and checking me out through the GBA. Everybody loves the GBA. Bringing builders together. Talking about stuff. Making stuff. How do I make this? Making that out. Adjusted his neck. Uh, 
Oh, it's almost 11. My. That's amazing. I love when I, you can't even see any defects whatsoever. I wasn't even trying. I wasn't trying to throw it across the table either. I swear. Well, that's one we do. Why don't they just have me assemble this ahead of time? Please the instructions. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. All right. We'll see what we can do here. Crud. <laughs> ah, success. Sucked. <laughs> yes, of course. I've been building. Look, we got a whole goose yen, uh, in a frame. And I'm putting together his dome right now, and I just dropped a piece, but I found it. Hooray. Welcome back. It's a tiny piece. Don't break it. Yes. All right. Back in business. Meets back in the menu. Oh, cool. This is gonna be cool. Because the, um, so, so I was doing my research and the high grade uh, rebate kits have a gimmick where you have to like disassemble, reassemble, or swap heads or something like that. And I believe this, I mean, this isn't, obviously, this isn't the whole city. But it looks like. The antennae, we'll call them, the horns of the demon. Yeah, it looks like they're movable slightly. There, give me that vibe. And 28. Yes, tiny little white components. Oh, yes, tiny little white components. Or any color components, doesn't matter, they could be blue, green, brown, purple, orange, chartreuse, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I will indefinitely uh, drop one of these on the floor and then have to go and crawl and find it because I... This, I mean... Really, I can't even find it the balance of my finger. That thing is so yeah. tiny. I told you. I told you. Wait.
<laughs> All right. I gotta find that now. Uh, that's a good one. That was really good. I shouldn't have. I, I jinxed myself. That's what happened. Was I really? I jinxed myself. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you know, I clip. I clip fast. I built a lot of these ABO kits, so especially recently. So I'm getting used to building quickly. Um, ugh, can't believe I dropped that piece. Might as well have been a grain of sand. And it <sighs> well learning experience all the same. Uh was fun. It was I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how. Don't know how. It was folded up in some sort of fold of my jeans where I stood up and I like pop pop the jeans a little bit, try to get the make sure it wasn't stuck in there. And I crawled all over the floor looking all over. And then I did it again. It fell out of my jeans there. Anyways, found the piece. Quality. <laughs> Quality. Yes, when you were aware it's at, you're so right. I'm sorry that you lost your barber to face for nearly a month, but come back home. It's a Benji. It's a Benji. You're old enough to know what Benji is. Maybe 90s kids would know, like, Homeward Bound? That one's a 90s movie? I'm old, so... Benji was hype when I was a wee lad. That's in the 80s. You did do it right. I was just trying too hard. Ah. Turn that a little bit. I realize you're just looking at my air compressor and my APA build back there. Okay. Ooh, there, 
Mr. Kim. Sorry, I'll probably rebuild it anyway. That'll be a fun thing to engineer. Re-engineer. Once again, it's more than I am really bad in a thousand of this today. It clipped on like a dream when you put it on the right direction. Who would have thought? Like it was designed to. Okay. I might have to call it quits here after I finish up this head, because I'm starting to slip. A little bit, and I don't want to make any grievous errors for any obvious reasons. Oh, where? I got nothing to go here, though, I think. No, I don't, actually. Just one piece. Ooh! That is not true. You do not press go. Do not click to move the Right. The six gallon, okay, so. Let's see, Rusty says, I heard those at water compressors use pistons instead of a diaphragm so they don't cycle in pressure. But what is the advantage of that over my work compressor, which has a six gallon uh, 150 PSI tank, which lasts you around two hours, it's fine. There's nothing, there's no advantage over that, other than, uh, weird prestige. If you've got the opportunity to use a real compressor, I say do it. I would do it in a, in a heartbeat, uh, and just dial it down with a regulator. Um, but I don't have that opportunity, because I'm in, a, like, a little apartment in Brooklyn, so this is about the biggest compressor that I can put in here without drawing any attention. Um, it has a two-liter tank, which is super small. But at the same time, it allows me to spray things uh, this size without um, without running into hit lag. Um, I had one of the regular um, like smart jets, and that uh, would lag a little bit. I had to adjust the pressure because the like the prime load, the prime spray versus the load, like the running load, was, is different, and it's just like you can only spray at a certain you know, a certain percentage. And if you're trying to do a lot of different things, like if you're moving a lot of primer, if you're moving a lot of clear coat, you need to use a little bit more pressure and you want to have the consistent pressure all along so that you don't have, you know, high spots, low spots. Um, you know, you know, I'm preaching in the choir, but yeah, there's nothing, um, no advantage over your six gallon uh, in, in, at all. Uh, I'm jealous, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but I do think that I am going to wrap this up. I want to thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me on my second stream. I'm just getting into this Twitch thing, and it's kind of, uh, I like it a lot, and that's uh, pretty rad. Um, so, yeah. Um, 
thanks again for hanging out. I'll be doing this uh, off and on as I'm as I'm working through these kits and doing. Maybe I'll just do some drawing um, if I get into that and uh, to to do the design work for the two different potentially two different kits. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I'm being I'm trying to be as cryptic as possible right now because if I'm super transparent, then uh, all my secrets are gone. Where's the fun in that? But uh, thank you again, and uh, check my, uh, I'll post on YouTube if you guys uh, haven't subscribed to my YouTube, uh, Bro Builder on YouTube, you can get notifications on there, and then I'll post when I'm going to stream on Twitch uh, on there like I did today, and I will also stream, post these streams up on there as well as my other work in progress build videos, I still have stuff from the, uh, the molding and the casting of the uh, wings for my GBA build, the cannon fodder build, um, Angel of Death, or Xeon Angel of Death. Um, yeah, so that should be cool. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, I think you can DM me here on Twitch, or you can hit me up on YouTube, or you can hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. They're all Road Builder. Uh, I guess Facebook isn't, but uh, that's okay. Um, thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Uh, I will have a good night. Bye-bye.